So this has been mentioned a little bit before now, but our datum features, they're always connected to the true geometric counterpart. But that was for a flat surface, and we're moving into features of size now. So how does that work? Because like, you know, I'm not trying to connect perfectly to this flat surface right here, am I? Well, that, that could be it. Um, you know, when you have a feature of size be um, selected as a datum, as, as long as it's not the primary datum, then what you're going to be doing is what's called the actual mating envelope. It says, well, this cylinder was supposed to be perpendicular to this line. Okay, so I'm going to act like there's a cylinder that's perpendicular to that line. I'm going to try to find the best, the smallest cylinder that can fit everything inside of it that is perpendicular to that line. That's the actual mating envelope. It's the smallest hole that you could slide over that cylinder while keeping it perpendicular to this back plane. Now that's how it is if it's referenced secondary or as a tertiary reference um, um, datum. If it's the primary datum though, if it's the primary datum, then there is no back line to be perpendicular to, because it's the primary datum. It's the one that says everything else is perpendicular to me. And so in that case, we would use the unrelated action mating envelope, where I don't care about like direction. I'm just saying, what's the smallest hole that can fit in perfectly over my cylinder here? So in this case, I have orientation to something else. In this second day's case, if it's primary, I don't. And just to give you an idea of what happens here, so if my datum B, which is this axis right here, um, is used as my primary datum, then I attach like a chuck to it to hold that part right there. And then all I do for this second datum plane A is just see where this flat surface actually intersects it. Um, otherwise, I would have made this flat surface touch the chuck jaws and then brought them in until they touched my datum plane B. It would have been different. So order does matter. It changes how you're holding the part. Okay, so this is important when we start thinking about how we're going to simulate our datum features. You know, flat surfaces make a lot of sense. Features of size, we're gonna have to bring in tools that are doing this, and they're gonna hold it differently depending on how we want to look at it. So I really need you to remember what the actual mating envelope is and what the unrelated actual mating envelope, okay? The actual mating envelope takes into account that it's supposed to be perpendicular to something. The unrelated one just says what's the smallest hole that can go over the cylinder, the smallest cylinder that would, or the largest cylinder that would fit in this hole. Um, the other thing to think about is the datum axis is not from our crazy curvy line right here. No, it is from the actual mating envelope, this perfect cylinder that can fit around my actual cylinder. We use that for our axis and that's what becomes the datum axis. So I hope this helps you. Thank you for listening and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.